Okay, um, Mark here. Anyway, I was going to show you guys, I uh, had some questions on setting the cam timing on a Mazda 3. This uh, engine's out of a uh, Mazda 3S. It's a 2.3 liter with the variable valve timing. Um, that's going to be controlled by that. Uh, the head's just sitting on there for right now. I just wanted to show you. I picked up some cam tools. I was kind of had some questions about setting the cam timing, and uh, read all sorts of things. Just stick a bolt in here and whatnot, and turn it till the crank stops. Anyway, um, on these engines, you'll see that the uh, there's no Woodruff key. There's no keys at all in this. So that's your uh, drive gear for your cam chain, and then over here on the side, there is a plug that you remove. Let's see, that's plug is that right here. So we remove this plug. This plug goes in the block right there. So we're going to take that out. Um, what happened with this engine was it was uh, involved in a submarine incident and it kind of destroyed uh, itself. So um, car was totaled. I picked the car up from the insurance company. Uh, really good deal on it. It's an 05. So Anyway, so I've got the cam or the crank positioned. You can see right here, right, right here, ah, where my finger is. The uh, that's the counterweight on the crank, and what this bolt does is go in here. And uh, you know, at first I thought, well, how the heck are they doing it? Well, this bolt comes in, and it's a specific length, and it goes against the crank to stop it right there. It doesn't go on. Yeah, get my finger out of there. It doesn't go up here. It doesn't stop it here. It stops it on on the flat right there. So uh, so now this crank is at zero. And then the other parts that came in the kit, I got this kit off eBay, uh, Motion, something. I can look it up later. But it's a machined uh, bar that goes in the slots on the back of the cam, locks the cam in place. And... Uh, to put this in, you've got a couple little hexes here on the cam that you can move stuff around with, so you can kind of position the cam. Again, I haven't bolted this head on yet. I just kind of set it up there just to play with the tools. I just showed up in the mail today. In fact, I don't want you to see my work. I must see workbench, but um, let's see. Got these off of eBay. It is the Massey Performance. Absolute precision timing tools. And uh, again, yeah, they're giving no warning to you. Always support camshaft with wrench when tightening gear bolts. Mine already tightened, never took those apart. Again, we, you know, we just did a new short block on it, and I think they had to replace a couple valves because it had water sitting in it. Um, so, anyway, the bolt goes in here, goes against the flat to zero the crank. The bar goes into cams, that zeroes the cams, and on the timing cover, you have this bolt hole right here lines up with this. So you take a like a six millimeter bolt, and as you can see, that basically lines up with the hole there. So once you get all that in place, then you bolt it together. I don't recommend uh, using this stuff to hold it because you have to tighten the front crank bolt to 75 foot pounds and then go 90 degrees past that. So uh, what I recommend doing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some flat stock and I'm going to bolt it. Yeah, this is my Harbor Freight stand. It's ancient. A lot of Hondas on here. This is my first Mazda. So just use the fiber bolts. I'm just going to bolt it in there so I can have a lever to, you know, two or three foot piece of flat stock, wrap it with some grip tape or something. So it gives me a lever to hold while we uh, tighten and get our extra 90 degrees on that. So that's it. That's how you set the kiming on a uh, Mazda Mazda 3, 2.3 uh, liter, and most of your Ford Duratex.